We are taking a closer look at a federal judge's reprimand of Governor Mike Pence over the issue of same-sex marriage. As we first told you yesterday, Judge Richard Young ruled the state must recognize same-sex marriages performed in other states. In his ruling, the judge accused Governor Pence of making a bold misrepresentation on misrepresentation, that is, to the district court. And he called out the governor for his role in enforcing Indiana's ban on same-sex marriage. State House reporter Katie Hines is live downtown with the latest. Katie? Todd and Erica, this ruling has no immediate impact while a stay on same-sex marriage is in place. But what is significant is the judge has now named Governor Mike Pence a party to the lawsuit. He even goes as far in his 11-page ruling as to say the governor acted contradictorily. In an 11 page ruling, Judge Richard Young writes the governor has repeatedly represented to this court that he does not have any authority to enforce or other role respecting this code. But Young says the governor issued memos through his attorney directing executive agencies on how to proceed with the law after earlier court rulings and a stay. He writes the memoranda issued by the governor clearly contradict his prior representations to the court. As a result, the judge named Penn as a defendant in the lawsuit. IUPUI political science professor William Blake says legally it won't make a difference to either side, but politically he thinks it could be positive. I think that this may be uh, beneficial to the governor uh, if there are some who thought that he didn't do enough during the legislative session to push HJR 3. Uh, it now uh, makes him look more uh, committed to the cause. Our political insiders have a different take. And I think the judge reprimanded him pretty harshly. I've never seen it before where a sitting governor has been spanked by a sitting U.S. district judge. So I don't think it's a Democrat or Republican issue. I think it's the judge basically not being happy with the Pence folks saying, hey, you, know, you told me one thing and then you did something else. In a statement, the governor's communications director tells us, quote, by law, a governor exercises authority over the executive branch of government. Governor Pence has a duty to uphold the laws of the state and will continue to do so while respecting the court's rulings. That does not make the governor a proper party in every lawsuit against the state of Indiana. And we're just learning that the attorney general has filed an appeal to this ruling. Again, the ruling is on hold until a federal appeals court rules on the merits of this case or another one dealing with the issue of same-sex marriage here in Indiana. The Seventh Circuit Court in Chicago is scheduled to hear oral arguments next week. Reporting live at the State House, Katie Hines, RTV6.